Let's talk about the health benefits of basil. As most of you have heard, I am a huge fan of basil. Basil is so important in so many ways that you probably aren't aware. First of all, eating basil boosts immunity. Basil contains some fantastic polyphenols and flavonoids and antibacterial compounds that fortify the immune system and help fight common infections. Now, you may know that basil is actually part of the mint family. And as a mint family member, it has lots of really cool compounds that fight infections and improve immunity. So some of those compounds are ursolic acid, eugenol, and cinolol. They actually help digestion as well. Studies published in the Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine Patients who consumed basil experienced a significant decrease in symptoms of gastrointestinal discomfort even after three to five days of consuming basil. And there's so many great ways to consume basil, and we'll get to that in the end. It repels insects. Well, that's right. It turns out that basil oil has been proven to be an effective non-toxic mosquito and insect repellent. In fact, one study showed that basil essential oil was found to be a mosquito repellent. It could offer protection for two to three hours after application. Now, this was actually comparable to commercial products like repellents, although it's not as long lasting as DEET repellent. I'm not a big fan of DEET, but mosquitoes love me. So basil is in my armamentarium to repel mosquitoes. Just smear some oil on where you're worried about. And by the way, it smells great. Now, basil's antioxidants help protect cells. A study in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry found that participants who consumed basil extract had higher levels of antioxidant, including glutathione peroxidase and superoxide dismutase, just by consuming basil. Sounds pretty good. Now, before we continue, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Basil can promote a healthy gut microbiome. It turns out that the compounds in basil, particularly the polyphenols, promote and improve gut microbiome diversity. And if you've listened to me enough, you know that having more diverse bugs in your gut equates to much better gut health and personal health. Our gut bacteria love to eat basil. In fact, one study showed that participants who consume basil showed significant improvements in gut microbiota within four weeks of regular use. The study actually noted an increase in beneficial bacteria like bifobacteria and lactobacillus. And that's actually what you want in your gut. I just came back from one of the large microbiota meetings in Malta this year where I was lecturing. And I can tell you that getting more lactobacillus and bifobacterium is really paramount for improving your health. And heck, eating basil for a couple weeks will do it. Here's another good reason. Basil has been shown to reduce oxidative stress. Now, part of this meeting that I was at really went into reactive oxygen species, better known as ROSs. Oxidative stress kills our mitochondria. You want free radical scavengers. And it turns out basil has you produce more of these free radical scavengers, which reduces the amount of oxidative stress. Plus, the flavonoids in basil slow down the effects of aging by the same process. So it's a win-win. Basil stimulates blood flow. It actually has a very high magnesium content. And if you've heard me talk about magnesium, most human beings that I see in my practice 
are very deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is critical for blood vessel flexibility. It's critical for blood flow. It's critical for heart function and it's critical for your brain. In fact, magnesium is one of the best ways to improve your mood, help your sleep and to protect your brain there is. And it's in basil. Basil has also been shown to improve liver function and helps detoxify the body. As you know, liver enzymes have phase one and phase two detoxification enzymes. And basil has compounds that support phase one and phase two detoxification in the liver. So why not add it to your diet? Basil can also help your brain in other ways. Basil can actually improve the production of neurotransmitters in your brain. You can actually improve your memory, learning, and concentration. In fact, a study published in Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine, basil was shown to reduce cortisol levels, the stress hormone, by a statistically significant amount after 60 days of consumption. That's just two months. So better memory, less stress, improvement in cognitive performance, and memory recall were also shown in this study and after just two months of basil. So let's get basil in our diet. How do you do that? Well, first of all, you can easily buy basil plants. Most of the stores now sell organic basil plants. I find it a great way because they grow in your house or you can put them outside and you pick off a few leaves and quite frankly, chew them. I love the taste of basil. Chop some up and put it in every one of your salads. Chop some up and put it with your fish. Put it with your chicken. Cook with it. But best, I love pesto. The combination of fresh basil, olive oil, pine nuts, and Parmesan Reggiano cheese is one of the great foods. I have it almost every day when I'm in Italy and it's readily available and it's so easy to make. In fact, make it yourself and put it on Gundry MD sorghum pasta. So pesto on Gundry MD sorghum spaghetti, mangia, mangia. That means eat, eat. And you're gonna get all the flavor and all the benefits Lastly, you've probably seen me make a gluten-free, lectin-free pizza using portobello mushrooms. Top it with pesto. You'll get all the flavor, all the benefits of mushrooms and basil and the rest of the pesto ingredients. You'll love it. And it's easy to do and you can find it on my YouTube channel. And if you like what you hear, make sure, like it, share it, subscribe. More amazing episodes just like this one. Watch now. How do you know you might be sensitive to these? Try eating these questionable foods. Do you notice your nose running or your eyes start to itch or you're sneezing? Do you notice that your stomach hurts afterwards? Do you notice that your bowel movements change?